All right, guys, it is probably the beginning of July at the point of time that you are watching this, which means it is time for my June favorites. Yay! Yes, as you may or may not know, I have a bit of a shopping problem. Um, I don't have money to spend, but I spend it anyways, which makes it a problem. Yeah, so these are a lot of things I purchased this month that I enjoyed and you know I would put some things I did enjoy at the end of the video but I don't think I really I couldn't think of any things that I purchased that I didn't like not including everything I purchased in this video but it doesn't mean I don't like it, it just means it wasn't it didn't rate high enough on my likeness scale to be considered a favorite <laughs> so let's get into the video um, I guess we will do makeup first. I have three makeup items to talk about. I'm gonna start with my, like, number one favorite thing this month. We're gonna start off big, and that is I purchased the Tarte Highlighting Kit, and it comes in the cutest packaging! I love this. This is from their Rainforest of the Sea collection. Um, it comes with four different shades. The only one I don't use is this one. I'm trying to, don't look like here. Don't show me everything. This one is a little too dark for me, but it's pretty color. It's really, really pretty. Um, my finger accidentally fell on this one. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a big like chunk taken out of it. But that's okay because I also don't use that color too often. My favorite is actually this daylight shade. It's what I have on right now. Um, this one is also a really good one for my skin tone called Skylight, and I'll use Spotlight if I'm like going out at nighttime when I'm wearing kind of more, more makeup. I'll wear that one. But yeah, I love this. I don't feel like anyone can own too much highlighter, and if you're in the market for a really good highlighting palette that has multiple color choices, I would go for this one for sure. Next! Um, it's also something from Tarte. I also bought one of their lip paints. This is from their Unicorn collection and it's in the color Festival and I love it. I don't know what it is. I feel like, I mean they're obviously still drying as most liquid lipsticks are, but I feel like this one doesn't dry my lips out as much. I don't know, I just feel like my lips don't feel as drenched from that's not the right word. Depleted of moisture um, by the end of the day. And this shade, I'm not wearing it right now, um, but this shade is so pretty. I, if you watched my last favorites video, I talked about the Too Faced liquid lipsticks and I, I had a shade called Chihuahua and I lost it. And I was really sad, but this color is pretty similar to that Chihuahua color that I had. So, I feel, once again, complete with my lipstick collection, but not really, because I do need more colors in my life. So, yeah, I would highly recommend this color to, that's my cat. <laughs> you wanna yell, honey? You don't wanna be in here anymore? Hi. No, you get to stay, Missy. Animals. Okay, and then the last, makeup thing I got well it's not the last makeup thing I got this month but it's the last one I'm going to be talking about like I said I just recently started getting into blush and bronzers and I only had one blush and one bronzer and the bronzer I had was good but my makeup need was itching and I needed to get a new one so I got the Hoola from Benefit which I've heard all over the internet as I'm sure you all have too but it is amazing um it goes on so nicely and i feel like it actually does complement a lot of skin tones and you can build it up if you have a darker skin tone and blah 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 i do feel once winter comes fall winter i'm probably might get the hula light and either just switch over to that one completely or mix the two uh, my face is getting a little tanner and darker because it is summer now so this one works really well for me but i feel like once the sun goes away and my skin gets a little lighter. It's gonna be maybe too much. 
match for me? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Either way, great bronzer. Recommend it. Woo! Next, we're gonna go in to skin care. I actually have two lotions to talk about. Which is weird, because, okay, so, I will say this about myself. I hate lotion. <laughs> I love it, and I hate it. We have a love-hate relationship. <sighs> I love how it makes your skin feel, but... I hate like moisturizing my body and then having to put clothes on or pajamas on. It's just the oily feel on my skin after putting lotion on and then having to put clothes on right after. I don't like it. Therefore, I've been really bad throughout my life of moisturizing my body. I have since probably high school have had like this BB groom that I put on my arms. But like I said, it's like I, if I'm wearing long sleeves, I probably won't use it. And it's just like a BB lotion because I have like pretty red toned arms and I'm self conscious about them so I try and fix it with BB cream. <laughs> so I don't really put lotion on except for like on my feet because I don't like the feel of it on my body when I have to put clothes on right after. So I heard about this here lotion and it saved my life! <laughs> um, this one has tanner in it like a natural glow it says. They also make kinds without the tanning stuff in it but basically this is a lotion you apply to your skin when you're done taking a shower while your skin's still wet and then you dry it off with a towel my skin feels so soft after using it but it doesn't have that oily sticky gross feeling that I don't like with lotions so this is perfect for me because I'm moisturizing my body getting a little bit darker and I'm not having to deal with the gross feeling that I don't enjoy when I have to put clothes on after lotion. So if you have the same issue I do, I recommend getting this. You don't have to get the one with the tanning in it. I got the one with tanning in it because I'm a pale ass motherfucker and I want to be darker. <laughs> so, yeah. The second lotion I got, as I'm sure you probably have heard lots about, is the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. Um, yes, I do use this on my butt. Thank you for asking, um, but you can also use it all over your body. I'll like put it on my elbows and like my feet and drier areas, but yeah, I use it in my bum bum area. It makes your booty so soft as well as other parts of your body and it smells so good. It kind of smells like a baked good. So yeah, um, it's a little bit pricey <laughs> lotion, but I really, really wanted it. So I bought it and I love it and I use it every day. Almost every day. That was a lie. And what I do like about this is it does absorb into my skin rather quickly so it doesn't stay greasy or leave that oily feeling on my skin that I don't like that I was talking about earlier. So it's a good lotion for that as well. So worth the price for me because I can use it and not feel gross after using it. <laughs> Next I have two face products I want to talk about. The first being a toner. Um, I'm gonna admit something, I always use the alcohol based toners! Ah! I know that's not good for your skin and I've stopped using them. Um, but I'll try and find a good one to replace the ones I had been using because the ones I had been using did clean up my skin pretty well. Like the amount of dirt that would come out of my skin even after washing my face with those alcohol based toners was ridiculous. But I know alcohol's not good for your skin. So I stopped using them and I found this toner from Sunday Riley that I really, really like. It's um, the Martian Mattifying Melting Water Gel Toner. It's green, so that's kind of funky, but uh, that's why it's called Martian, I guess, right? <laughs> um, but it really cleans out my skin. It's not drying at all. I feel like it even like helps moisturize my skin a little bit, it cleans it up, gets all the extra gunk and makeup and anything else that's left in my pores after I wash my face. So I recommend if you have kind of an oily complexion like I do, I would recommend this toner. I feel like ever since I started using this toner too, my makeup stays on better in my nose and forehead, my T-zone area. I kind of have a problem with that. Usually like within a few hours, all the makeup for my nose is just gone. <laughs> it's just not there anymore, like melts off. But this really kind of mattifies my skin and takes away the oil and kind of prevents oil from building up as fast so my makeup stays on longer. 
In the last skincare slash normal product I'm going to be talking about is something else from Tarte and that is the Tarte Drink of H2O Moisturizer. This is also from their Rainforest of the Sea collection which is just a great collection in general. Their eyeshadow palette looks so pretty but I have a problem so I did not buy it. <laughs> But the whole entire line of the Rainforest of the Sea is amazing and this moisturizer is no exception. Like I said, I have oily skin. People with oily skin need to avoid oil-based moisturizers, which is what I was using before. So, you know, it's a learning process. I'm learning. <laughs> um, but I heard about this one and it is a gel-based moisturizer, water-based, gel-based, whatever something like that so it's not oily it doesn't have any oil in it and it smells so good it's like sea salty and lavendery and just smells so good it just smells really fresh and clean which is kind of what I want with like a moisturizer you know I don't want anything like too weird on my face <laughs> scent wise so it just kind of just smells clean and refreshing and it's a really good moisturizer. I put it on before I go to bed. You know, I don't know. And in the morning. <laughs> it's great, though. So I'd recommend it if you have oily skin like me. So that's all the like beauty products I have. Next I have just like two really random things that I purchased and I really like. <laughs> Recently I've been trying to use better products for cleaning my house, like things that have less chemicals and toxins in them that are harmful for the environment and for myself. And one of the things ugh, I found is it's from Method and it's just an all-purpose cleaner and I don't know why I just didn't think it was gonna work as well because it didn't have like the chemicals in it because I'm brainwashed just like probably a lot of humans are but this stuff is amazing it like I don't know why I feel like this actually cleaned up my bathroom better than any of the other products I was using like I would use like name brand products like Lysol and Clorox and all those things and I feel like this works like 10 times better and it's lavender scented so it makes my bathroom smell amazing and just this product I literally have this product and toilet bowl cleaner because this cleans everything my windows my mirrors my counters my shower the outside of my toilet I even used this on my floor the other day because I ran out of mopping stuff but yeah this it's amazing that's a good, good, good job. And it wasn't even like that much more expensive than other products. So. And the last thing I have for the month of June is this hot sauce. <laughs> um, it's Green Dragon Hot Sauce. It's from Trader Joe's. It retails at $3.99, It's cheap. It's cheap hot sauce and it's delicious. This is an unopened bottle because I bought two last time I was there just to kind of stock up but this I use the shit out of this hot sauce if you love spicy things get this hot sauce it's not like too overpoweringly spicy but it definitely has quite the kick to it it's jalapenos and habanero in it so that's where the spice comes from so if you're kind of not too into spices maybe don't get this but if you really like spicy foods Highly recommend getting this hot sauce. They have a red version too. I just really like jalapenos. Oh, I got this one. But it's at Trader Joe's and it's cheap. And it's called, and it has a dragon on it. Like, come on. Okay, so those are all my favorites for the month of June. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being here with me. I appreciate you. Um, if you liked what you saw, if you liked me, go ahead and like this video. Subscribe to my channel. Give me some thoughts down below. Um, and before I go with my last favorite thing of this month and every other month of every single year is Britney. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next time. Okay, bye.